In this video, we'll be looking at a concept called root and root determination in SAP. Over the course of this video, we'll cover why root is important, how you determine the root, and how it's configured and the properties behind the root. As you can see here in Google Maps, I have plotted two towns. The first is Manchester and the other is London. And I've asked Google to show me the journey or, or how to get from London to Manchester. It has told me how long it takes, two hours. And I have, I can take drive, I can take the train, I can even cycle. In which case, cycling takes 17 hours. What's important to take away from this is that for any journey, you have a start and end point. You have to how you're going to get there. You have your means of transit and you also have the duration. And actually in SAP, we will see how a particular route has all of these properties. Now, in SAP, a route is determined on the sales order on each individual item level. So each item could have a different route or they could have all the same route. Be aware that when you create the delivery, that route is copied onto the delivery header. This means that we could have a scenario where a single sales order could have multiple routes and when you create a delivery, the sales order would be split across these multiple deliveries, which with each delivery having a different route. Once we have a look at how the route is determined, we can see why a particular item could have a different route. Now, the route is important because it drives quite a number of logistics items. The route is used to determine the lead time or the planning time for that route. For example, if I were to ship from the UK to Australia, that route, the planning of that route could take longer as compared to when I want to plan a route from London to Manchester. The route must have a journey time. So how long does it take to travel on that route? Also, a route could have a picking and packing time that is different from the default. So you could say for a particular route, for example, again, if I wanted to ship from the UK to Australia, because it's such a long journey, it may take me longer to pack the materials as compared to normal. And finally, the route can be used for haulier determination. So you could say against a particular route, I have a particular haulier that I want to use. And thus we can say that the route is one of the main drivers in how you determine all of the deadlines uh, in logistics. So when do you ship, when do you pick, when do you pack. The route is also used to segregate the documents. You can create uh, in the delivery you can, or in the delivery creation to be exact, you can select to only create deliveries that belong to a particular route. We'll have a look later why this is important. The route can be also used as part of the selection when you want to create a shipment. And finally, you can have routes to represent a particular logistic scenario. For example, you could have a route that represents normal shipments, a route that could select a particular haulier, or a route that could put, select a particular process. So returns, in theory, could be one route or one, one type of route. And if the customer chooses to collect their own product, we could also have a particular route for them. Thus, when we create the delivery or when we assign the shipments, we know that we will always exclude that particular route from all the planning because we know the customer is going to collect it out themselves. So we can, as you can see here, the route we can use to drive all of these selections 
in the logistic processes. There's also the option to redetermine the route when you create the delivery. And the only reason you would redetermine the route when you create the delivery is if you use the weight as one of the criteria when you are determining the route. And the reason you do it at the time you create the delivery is that is the only time or that is the final time you would know the weight because if you were to do it on the sales order it could be that when you create the delivery you might have changes to it maybe due to availability or you could have grouped a number of sales orders together into one delivery and that would change the weight so the only true time you would know the weight of the delivery is when you create the delivery or at the time when you create the delivery so that is why SAP has this option redetermine the route at the time of delivery creation and the only time you would do it is if you have route determination by weight so now for this sales order in SAP if I were to go to the item and I go to shipping tab you can see here is where the route is being determined and here you can also see I can change the route manually and I can select any other route that I want so you can see here here's a whole list of routes if I ever wanted to but the system would determine one automatically if it could the route on the sales order is determined by four values the first value is the transport group which is determined from the material master so this value is copied from the material master the shipping condition which is originally from the customer master and it's copied into the sales order so it's actually taken from the sales order we have the from transport zone which is copied from the shipping point in that item and we have the to transport zone which is copied from the ship to party now for the purposes of this formula yeah, let's assume that the from transport zone this one here and the two transport zones are constant and what I mean by this is that the shipping condition that you see here and the transport group can be used to drive the route determination based on a particular set of scenarios so why would you want a different route based on the shipping condition now the route comes from either this customer or the sales order and so what we can say is that we can use the route in, in, in the sales order for either selection or we can use it to exclude a particular sales order when we process our deliveries so what I mean by this is for example let's say we have a sales order that is for self-collection which comes from the customer so what we can say is that every time you create a sales order for this customer which is self-collection always have this particular route and when we create our deliveries we always create that route last for example because there's no lead time and we can exclude that route when we create our shipments because it's always self-collection because we don't need to do any shipment planning on it now in the case of rush order the shipping condition can be determined on the document type we'll have a look at this in the configuration we've seen this before but we'll have a look at it again that means that for this particular document type we always have a particular route and what we can do is by having a different route we can change the process flow 
So again, in the example, if we have a rush order, for example, we can always select a particular route so that the lead time is shorter. We can always then choose a very particular haulier. Let's say we can choose a parcel delivery company. And all of that comes just by a particular document type. Because the transport group is derived from the material, what we could effectively say is that the material could drive the route determination. And what we would do is, or what we would want is to segregate certain materials into a particular route because they require special handling. An example is they could, for example, have a particular material, could have a particular route because it would require a cool truck and other materials may not require that so what you want to say is every time you create a sales order for this mat particular material choose this particular route which means I will choose a particular truck and a particular freight forwarding agent so you can see again how the material drives the route determination which then drives all the other logistics processes and finally one last thing the route is actually in this function module which you can access using the transaction SA37 and the module to determine the route is this one here so if you're ever stuck on how SAP determines the route use SA37 put in this function module and you can step line by line code by code to see how SAP determines the route